the news of a possible indictment against former President Donald Trump over the weekend. The former president claimed he will be arrested tomorrow, although there is no evidence that that is going to happen and no official has said that that is true. Now he's facing criticism for calling on his supporters to protest, raising concerns that his words could lead to violence that are very similar to what happened on January 6th. We all remember that day. Robert Costa is outside Manhattan Criminal Court. Bob, good morning to you. And we understand that there may be additional testimony today. Good morning, Gail. That's correct. The CBS News has learned that the grand jury may hear today from an additional witness, Bob Costello, a former legal advisor to Michael Cohen, a key witness in this investigation. We're told that Mr. Costello might question the credibility of Mr. Cohen, and this all comes after the fallout over the weekend from former President Trump's comments. This is selective prosecution. If I were President Trump, I'd take this all the way to the damn Supreme Court. Former President Donald Trump and his allies on the political and legal warpath over the weekend as Trump faces down a possible indictment in Manhattan criminal court. On Saturday, Trump claimed he will be arrested on Tuesday of next week and urged his supporters to protest and take our nation back. He then urged in a follow up, we must save America, protest, protest. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Kakurash. Double honors to the apostles, the Elder Great Millstone, and Shatish Brothers doing this thing in sincerity and truth and with charity. Firstly, Yahweh's name, Heavenly Father, Bahasham is in the name, Ba En Hadash Sham name. Yahweh Shai is the name of the begotten Son, and Racha Kwadash means Holy Spirit, literally translated Spirit Holy. Racha Spirit Kwadash Holy. And man, you know, um, whether whether Trump get a re Trump get arrested tomorrow, and you know the riots or protest, I should say my bad, start tomorrow or not, it's gonna happen soon enough. You know, as far as the, the protest, the division is set. Now this tweet that he posted is heavy, or not tweet? Cause I think this is his social media thing he got. But he says it's time we are a nation in steep decline. Being led into World War Three, all right. Uh, and he says a lot, but he, he then he says uh, uh, being run by, uh, surrounded by evil and sinister people who, based on their actions, on defunding the police, destroying our military, open borders, no voter ID, inflation. Raising taxes and much more can only hate our now fallen USA. Just can't allow this anymore. They're killing our nation as we sit back and watch. So basically, the, the he's echoing things that the average, you know, uh, uh, patriot is feeling right now, man. And it just shows the division of this country is set. And these prophecies will be fulfilled, man. This is Isaiah 19 and 1, the burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt, in which we know the Lord is going to visit this place with his chariots, right? And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. So that Egyptian mindset, the morality of this place is gone out the window, all right? Before the Lord comes in his chariots, different things are going to happen, like the, the infighting, right? Let's Next verse. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they should fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. Salaki. All right? So that's the division right there. Just divided and violent, man. And that's what's coming. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. Low morale. Hey, what happened to the sin? United we stand, divided we fall. Yet, it seems like only thing that's been pushed is division. And I will destroy the council thereof, and they shall seek to the idols, and to charmers them that have me in spirits, and to the wizards. And there's nothing they can do to change this, man. All right, they can go, uh, uh, go to their warlocks. All right, go to whoever gives them counsel to make this policy, that policy. Nothing they do can fix this. All right, it's over with. You know, soon it's gonna be these riots. Let me grab that. This second Esdras. 
And this isn't meant to be long. I just find it interesting that, that tweet he made. You know? It was already speculated, you know, well, these, th these good old boys, they're going to be ready to ride for Trump. But then he posts that tweet, and that's exactly what they, they mad about. They feel that they lose in their country. So him saying that shows how deep the division is. This is 2nd uh, Edgers 15. And 15, or 14, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw off nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. So it's going to get violent out here. All right. And that leads to World War Three. All right. For there should be sedition among men. The word sedition means incitement. Conduct or speech inciting people to rebel <laughs> against the authority of a state or monarch. So the Lord is putting it on. He, the Lord put it on Trump man to call for this sedition. Hey, just like this has been riots and protests worldwide, that's going to happen here. That's a sign of the end of the times. For there should be sedition among men and invading one another. All right. Pe people breaking into houses, breaking into buildings. All right. <laughs> and then also the big invasions. Countries against countries, man. This is going to be the biggest free for all in history from citizens all the way up to nations. And invading, thus with violence shall Babylon fall. And invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So there will be a, a, a rebellion against government, man. And it's the spirit watching it all. It's beautiful watching it all play out through the spirit. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, martial law, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, and it's going to just be chaos everywhere. You ain't going to want to be caught lacking out there, man. The houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy the houses with the sword, and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread, and for great tribulation. All right? So it's what well, he mentioned, inflation. It's going to be hard. It's going to get tighter here. It's going to be hard to get these goods. All right? And then it's going to be a shortage of goods, which means what? More violence, man. All right? So inflation is just the beginning. High ta higher taxes is just the beginning. All right? Like Trump said, World War Three is on the table. And that's scriptures. That's the next verse. The, the violence from the citizens going all the way up to the top. Behold, saith the Most High, I will call together all the kings of the earth to reverence me, which are from the rising of the sun, from the south, from the east, and Libanus to turn themselves one against another and repay the things that they have done to them. So War War Three is inevitable. This violence is inevitable, and this fall is happening, man. Um, Let me grab this and mark, and I'm going to wrap it up. This is uh, Mark. Three and twenty-four, and and if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, but hath an end. No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. So this is the Lord proverbially, you know, breaking into Esau's house, tying him up so he can be robbed and spoiled. All right, and it said invading one another. It's gonna be it's gonna be shit happening in America. That's gonna uh, uh, make it easier. All these other nations are gonna see the opportunity. Well, now is the time to invade one another, like the scripture said. Now is the time to go mess with America. They're weak. They're, they're they're dealing with their own shit. We coming into great times, man. Oh, and, and you know the beautiful part? It's so much happening in the news because we see the bank collapses. But also, what happens in July? Fed now, man. The Federal Reserve is get is basically getting a, 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 a they, they version of cash out. All right? You can cut out the middle, man. Ain't no need for banks when you're going straight through the Fed to make your transactions instantly. 
the 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 the, the system and set up for the market of beast is here. This place is over with, man. We are at the end. Shalom. Call Lawley Hawashami Hawashai.